Hi, my name is Bryn, and I am from Washington State. And as a Republican voter in Washington State, I've never felt like my vote counted during a presidential election. We are a blue state, and we will always be a blue state. And so in 2016, it was easy for me to claim conscientious objector status and just not vote. My conscience wouldn't let me vote for Trump, but I also couldn't vote for Clinton. However, a couple weeks before the election, my sister said, if you had to choose, if you, someone had a gun to your head and they said, you have to pick one, who would you choose? And I said, I, I would vote for Clinton because yes, she's lied and she's made mistakes and she's tried to cover those up. And I don't even agree with most of her policies and agenda, but number one, I believe that he has done all that and more. And she has a level of humanity that he just doesn't have. He starts from a level of hatred that I just think most human beings don't, don't start from. Um, Max Licato is a Christian author. And before the 2016 election, he came out against Trump and said he's indecent. And if he was a 14 year old boy, I wouldn't let him date my teenage daughter. And so if, if this man does not even meet the standards that we give 14 year olds, why did we put him in charge of the world? I mean, if he was a teenager and he was glorifying dictators and making fun of disabled people on national television and telling people they want, he wants to punch him in the face and just spewing hatred and mockery on social media, he would be hauled into the principal's office and get detention and his parents would be called and he would be called a bully. And so if that's what we do to 14 year olds, why don't we do it to our leaders who are supposed to be the, the standard that we try to meet? And my dad always calls me an idealist and says I need to be more real about humanity, but Every president, for the most part, that has been president during my life since 1980, um, has tried to be a unifier. They've tried to cross the, the aisle. And yes, a lot of times that was for their own agenda, but they did try to be a unifying force, especially in times of tragedy and crisis. They, they knew that they had to bring everyone together and not be divisive. And this... I mean, every time you think, okay, he's going to step it up. He's going to do something to be kind and show that he has a heart and be a unifier. He just does something just even more worse than before. He's just so callous. And I, 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 I didn't even know there were people that existed in the world with this level of callousness, and we put them in charge of the free world. Okay, well, I did know that there were, like, dictators out there. I didn't know that there were people in a democracy that were this callous. I saw an interview with Josh Brolin after he played Th Thanos, um, and I don't know if it was after the first or second movie that he was in, but he said, you know, Thanos' goals were actually admirable. There were a limited amount of resources and he wanted to make those resources good. You know, he wanted to make the lives of the people who could use those resources good. He had to do that or he chose to do that by killing off half the universe. But he did that because he wanted life to be good for the half that survived. So his intentions or his, you know, his, his base, his underlying goal was good, but the callousness with which he carried it out is what made him a villain. And I think that's so applicable to, to President Trump. Growing up, I was never allowed to make fun of the president. We had to respect the office. And so that is what I grew up believing. And it's what I tried to do for President Trump in the first few months of his um, term. But he made, he made a mockery of the office. He doesn't respect the office he holds. And so I cannot respect him in it. And, and I, I don't agree with a lot of what Mr. Biden says, but I will be voting for him because even, even I mean, even though in Washington, my vote would be, be for Biden anyway, we are a blue state. I can't be a conscientious objector anymore because not saying anything is the same as siding with the bad side. So that is why I'm a Republican against Trump.
in 2020.